Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing right now in Madden 21, guys. Now, Kralo did just reveal the entire holiday schedule while Good Morning Madden will be away and they'll be on break. So, we pretty much have a pretty good idea of exactly what we're going to be getting. Or, not a good idea. Like we have an exact idea just besides the players what we're going to be getting. So, I'm going to be going over what you guys need to be doing right now. I'm going to take you guys over to the holiday schedule in just a second so I can recap that with you guys so we do have an idea of what we're going to be focusing on this week, kind of what we need to be doing. But for starting, guys, before we get into the video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell, boys. Come give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already. Head over to Motors or pick up some coins. Use code Poodle for 30% off, guys. There's so much stuff coming out this week. You're going to need coins. There's so much stuff that came out today that you're going to need in general. But moving on from that, guys, first things first. First thing I want to talk about is start playing your snowball challenges if you guys do want a chance to get those players make sure you're playing them guys they do end the december 28th so you have approximately five days from today to go ahead and finish that up you guys want a snowball fight right here is he set for miles garrett or justin herbert from what i heard the community's going justin herbert which means he'll probably end up getting 93 but if you guys don't want herbert here's the thing from here like i don't want herbert Herbert's what the community's going with, so he's going to be the best option in terms of getting the 93 overall. But the thing is, is that Miles Garrett's going to be the more useful card for my team because I can toss him in an end or defensive tackle, and I can go ahead and start my quarterback, whichever one I so choose to pick. So, personally, guys, if you're in the same boat as me, and you're like, okay, Justin Herbert's really good, but he won't start for me, you go with Miles Garrett, right? But again, it's up to you guys. Miles Garrett won't get the 93 more than likely because a few big YouTubers already have went to team Justin, which should sway enough people in the community to go ahead and do the same exact thing. But, getting this up to you, make sure you're getting that done. You have to play the house rules, collect the launcher, um, the snowball launcher, get some collectibles to hold, the whole whatnot, you know, everything you got to do. So, make sure you're going ahead and doing that. I'm going to take you guys over to the schedule so we can't go over what's coming out this week. If you watched my video earlier, you did see the holiday break schedule. Real quick, I'm going to run it down. Got the 50 coming tomorrow. Randy Moss and a few more bangers as you guys will probably see throughout the day. And here's the thing, you're gonna need those cards like I said. So the main focus for this week and showing you guys the schedule is how to allocate your coin, how to allocate your time. So you're gonna need Randy Moss, you're gonna need Kamara, right? So you're gonna need coins for that. So make sure you guys are selling like I'm gonna go sell Derrick Henry. I just sold Calvin Ridley. I'm gonna make up some coins back so I can go ahead and uh, pick them up because of course Alvin Kamara blows away Derrick Henry, Randy Moss blows away Calvin Ridley. It's just simple upgrades, right? So you wanna be focusing on that. Making the necessary upgrades and allocating coins where you can. Christmas Day, guys, this is going to be a big day. The issue is a lot of people might be with family. May not be able to exactly play too much on Christmas Day. But nonetheless, Chill Factor tiers unlock 11 to 15. So, like I said, you guys want to be getting your Chill Factors done now. Get up to past 50. Get up to at least 15. By the 25th. So when you wake up, you guys, and on 25th, and you check out your Madden account, you have all the rewards just to open up and get. And you can head back off and go open presents and do what you guys do. Good uh, Ghost of Madden Pass comes out December 25th, so guys, save some coins. Do not spend all your coins just yet, because on Ghost of Madden Pass, going to be a lot of good players. going to be some of the best players in the game, maybe the best players in the game, and you're going to need coins when they come out on Christmas Day. Another zero to release means another master. Again, don't spend all your coins, because you may want to master Xmas Day challenges. They may be limited. If they're limited, definitely check it out, because it means you can only play them on Christmas Day. So make sure you're checking that out. And the new Grouch Challenger presents open. Now I'm going to speed run these and get back to the Madden screen. Yeah, Legend of the 26th. So buff fight ends on the 28th. Out of position release, again, more Ghost of Madden players. We got new chill factor tiers until 20 on the 31st, and then Ghost of Madden release all programs on the 31st. And the 50 and Legends again. Let's get back to the Madden screen. Right there, if you guys saw that properly, what you did understand from that is pretty much we have a lot of content. We have multiple Ghost of Madden drops. We have the past Ghost of Madden. We have more Ghost of Madden players. And then overall, just like a past, present, future drop. Could be LTDs. We have presence opening, guys. Remember, presents may tank the market, so maybe don't invest all in just yet. That is my point here. Presents will tank the market. All these new players are going to tank the market, guys. A lot of stuff's going to go down this week, which is why I kind of recommend let a few of the things come out first and then pick them up, right? Because here's the thing. Let's say Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah Simmons right now. 600K. Not a horrible buy, right? Let's say the presents come out. We believe that the red presents going to be Isaiah Simmons, so... 100,000 people have the present. 
on Christmas morning whenever it opens, Isaiah Simmons may come down to 300K. I'm telling you guys, same thing with Kamara. It's going to be the same thing for all of those guys. I recommend, we're pretty sure that Simmons, Kamara, and one more guy that is a mystery guy to be revealed, which is the Raiders looking present, is going to be who these presents are. So, Isaiah Simmons, this happened last year too. Isaiah Simmons is 300K. He effectively may be like two, 300K once those presents open, guys. So, just... I'm telling you, you buy Kamara right now, you buy Simmons right now for the price that you see, and you're going to get burned. Remain vigilant, stay, be careful with the, with the way this is right now, guys. I'm telling you, like, I want Kamara, he's 894k. Honestly, I could probably justify 800k, like, oh, 95 speed, you need him, right? But once his present opens, if that is indeed him, he may fall down to 400k, because there's just so, like, and you have to buy them on Christmas. Like, day that they drop, right? Let's say the present's 26th, or 25th, whatever it is, you go check it out. Whatever date it's going to say, is going to be the mo the time that it crashes. Make sure you're there at that time. You may watch him go from like 800k all the way down to like 400k in seconds. Like that's how quick it can get. And you want to buy him because he will come back up once the presents sell out. Like the, the just blind demand you go out again. But that's gonna be gonna kind of be the case for him and a lot of other guys as well. And that's not just them. Like there's zero chill players as well. So you're gonna see zero chill masters like Derek Henry, Charles Woodson, all of them take a hit as well. Gonna be a, a massive effect, guys. So that's why like like I said, like I have Henry, but I'm gonna sell him. I got him for cheap because I did I did the set. I have um. Charles Wilson, but he's uh, he's he's he was 300k. I feel like he's a long-term player. I had no problem scooping him up, but I'm telling you, you're gonna see this affect a lot of players here. These legends here are gonna come down in value. Everything's gonna start coming down in value pretty hard this week. A big mark crash is going to come soon. I'm just saying, we're gonna be doing a matter right now, guys. Is getting your chill factors up and being careful where you allocate your coins at this moment. Isaiah Simmons and Kamara right now will cost you about 1.5 million coins total. If you wait literally like a few more days, like literally just like two to four more days, anywhere between there. You may end up only paying like 600k for both of them, 700k. You may end up paying literally half, saving almost a million coins. Like I'm telling you, it's a big deal. Definitely wait. So just be careful. You allocate your coins, make the right moves. Don't don't you know don't buy aggressively, just because. And again, there may be a pack that gives you uh you know random out of position player pack. So, Taysom Hill being 500k right now, make him down to 300. There's gonna be big changes going on this week, guys. We have a ton of content. Honestly, one of the most jam-packed content weeks I've ever seen in my life in Madden. It's gonna be we're not gonna have to expect, right? Like obviously we're not gonna be getting players that replace other players that like drop their value, but the presence kill the market. Like I said, if you really want to take advantage of the present crash, you have to be around the presence open. So when you know like they're okay, ten thirty, the Steelers presence opening, or well, not the Steelers, the Saints presence opening. You wanna be like, do you wanna just sit here, filter out by Kamara, halfback, and just sit there refreshing. And once you get to a price, you, like again, if it goes down to 400k, and you're like, okay, I'm comfortable with that. Just buy it. May it go down to 300k. It's possible, but if you're comfortable with the price, you don't want to risk it. Sometimes it'll go 400k, and you're like, okay, I'll wait for another one. Then it goes back to 430, then 450, then 460, then 500. Before you know it, you just lost yourself money, right? If you get to a price point that you've set, like set yourself a price that you're comfortable with paying for, like a stock kind of, right? If you feel comfortable with the price you see on the Kamara, go ahead and scoop it up. Now, moving on from that, guys, make sure you're getting your zero chill to, uh, your chill factor tiers up. I'm at seven again. I was waiting for solos. I was waiting for a bunch drop because I was just knocking up these solos too easily. It was getting boring. I was hopping on, playing the solos, and then okay, done. Hop off. So I let a few build up here. I let the uh, North Pole one, I don't know, draft the boys, and the Ranger games build up real quick here, so I can go ahead and make sure I am getting these done. Collect that. Now we do have an additional. Let's see what is that? That is uh, 35, 35. And 35, so that's 70 plus 35, 105 there. So that does mean we're able to go ahead with milestones. 135 plus is about 265. So we can go ahead, and we're so close to the two chill factors. We get the first one, though, so we are going to get one. But then for the next two, we're going to be right before it. Now, again, maybe I'm a little short on stars and a few of them, but I doubt it. I think chill factor is going to be the next upgrade, probably starting tomorrow with more solos. But we do have other solos as well as we do go down. And make sure you guys are playing all those, getting all that done. Go ahead and get everything done there because... You do not want to be behind. And yes, you can get it done later on. You can do it at any time you want, but it would be best if you can get the uh, chill factor up to 20 before. It is 20, so like I said, you can just wake up Christmas morning, open it up, collect your 11 through 15 rewards, and then go to the next one, and then go ahead and get your next rewards as well. There's plenty of rewards to get, and like I said, you don't want to be behind just because it just gets it's kind of annoying when you're that far because you got to go grind hard. Like I said, I let like three solo sets build up because that's not a lot to do, but you don't want to let like, you let 20 of them build up, it looks daunting. And you just, that's how you end up never doing solos. I've fallen victim to that 100 times. Like, oh, I'll play them all at the end when they're all out. And then I see like a day, a few days worth of solos. I'm like, yeah, I don't need that action anymore. Get it done now. Collect your free players. Again, you get some really good stuff. You get, the, I got a complete by Snow Beast. You got your Nat 93 overall zero chill player. You get the Nat out of position player, which is cool. 
You get the 992 94 overall Ghost and Madden player. Again, they're not going to be masters, but they're still going to be good cards. And then you get the 992 93 overall. You can always just quick sell them for snow and then, you know, go ahead and just reroll them for, uh, for presents. There's so many possibilities with that as well. And then, yeah, pretty much wraps up the video. Pretty much covers all what I think you guys should be doing right now. That's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what's going on. Like the video. Turn on the noti bell. And as well, if you guys haven't already, head over to my reserve. Pick up some coins, guys. Big coin week. Like I said, you don't have to spend them right away. But have them on deck. Because like I said, when Kamara and everything drops, you're going to have time to go purchase coins. You want to be ready for those presents to drop and pick up all the stuff you need to pick up. I'm telling you, when presents drop, you can build a 10 million coin team for 500. Uh, 10 million coin team for 5 mil. And that's literally the difference of things that happen. So just make sure you're ready so you can build a massive squad and be just set for the rest of the rest of the month, right? And then going to January. But yeah, guys, if that didn't enjoy the rest of your day, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'm out. Peace.